All right, so another dramatic story uh, to start this video off. So the jawfish was the first one to go in. And as you can see, he already burrowed in there, blah, blah, blah. He was throwing up sand, everything. Put the lid on, good to go. So today I was feeding the tank, put on feed mode, make sure like all the uh, mysostrium like floats around so they all can get get some of the food. And I was like, man, where's the, um, where's the jawfish? Like he should have been popping out. Go to work, wife calls me saying something's on the floor. And yes, I didn't even pick him up yet. He's a goner. Dang, like that really sucked. He wasn't even in this tank for like a day, maybe the night, I don't know. Super dried up, so uh, that really sucks. And I he I think he slipped out from here. There's no other way, because it's this one's backed up to the back here, and then literally this little half inch, maybe an inch. So I couldn't push it all the way because I had to put the fan on. Some reason the tank's getting hot throughout the day, um, but that really so I should have just took the fan off and uh, put the lid completely on. But yeah, don't be me and uh, make sure if you're getting any of those kind of fish, any fishes that are known to jump, get some kind of lid and make sure it's secure because uh, that really sucks. Right, enough of the sad story uh, as you can see the cardinal cardinals are in the tank doing good um, feels like the dominant clownfish is the one with more white on it and then in be between these two that one is he's a bit bigger kind of bullies the other one like they swim all together but then last couple of days he's been kind of like up in the corner kind of secluded so I don't know what's going on with that um, Okay, so this is gonna be like a little tank update. Uh, so the back hair algae from all that stuff from before I had issues with, uh, with that foam board, this kinda came back. So I asked in a form and then I Googled some stuff and Instagram actually a bunch of people said get uh, Mexican turbo snails and they actually came in today. Things are huge, but this whole back was covered in this hair algae, but look at it now, like it's clearing up quite a bit get a better angle look at that the top top portions almost completely gone they're going to work so I give it a couple days should be all cleared up um, definitely need to clean the sand bed sand bed is looking pretty rough coral growth everything seems like I'm getting like new polyps and everything's pretty much open this one wasn't open for a while but now it's opening up again and yeah, I moved some stuff down because I think I want to get some more SPS. Um, okay, so in that other video where that sponge foam was giving me all this detritus and uh, all these crazy uh, measurements as far as phosphate levels and stuff. So I found another thing I did. Those bags, I'll put a picture of it because I did take a picture this time. The bags that you, those media bags that you put in the sump, um, those are not good, in my opinion, because I went out down there and took them out just to check on them, and they were full of gunk, especially the bio balls. I had two bags of bio balls, or one bag, and uh, it was just full of stuff in there. So if you wanna do bio balls, get the big ones. Don't put it in the bag, just put it in the back, and that shouldn't be an issue, because there's enough flow, detritus is not gonna like get stuck on them, so that's a, uh, Another thing, if you do have those bags, check on them and I guarantee you there's a bunch of stuff on them. If you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to smash that like button and if you wanna see more cool videos like this, don't forget to subscribe as well. All right, so tank update, that's pretty much how everything's going. Uh, back wall's getting clear with those Mexican turbo snails, thank God, because the back was looking pretty shot. Um, so I did end up ordering a bigger tank. My options were water box, Cade, Cade not really, I didn't even look into it because I just keep seeing it everywhere and all these people are like promoting it. And then Aqua Forest. Aqua Forest really was my second uh, choice. Um, and I think I'm gonna go, I don't think, I already ordered it. It's Aqua Forest, uh, the 605. 
So I didn't do the 285 because 285 was kind of like the size of my last water box. I had, it was the 100.3. So I wanted something a little bit bigger. I don't think it's even much bigger. It's just like almost the same. It's 115 gallons, I believe. It just looks nice. So since I'm getting the Aquaforce tank, I didn't even get like, a conf not a confirmation, like an email update when it's coming. So I did it last week, so it's probably gonna take a few weeks. But that being said, um, I did order some of the Aquaforest aminos, like their supplements. So I think when I get that tank, I'm gonna go like straight up Aquaforest. Cause on like, online Instagram, like I don't know if it's all the promoting and if I'm getting sucked into that. I just wanna know if this stuff really works. Like all the Aquaforest tanks I've seen out there, like the colors and the corals are like crazy. I don't know if they're editing it or just naturally like that. I have no idea, but I'm gonna find out and I will let you guys know. So I only, I did this like yesterday. So it says, you don't have to refrigerate it, you shake it or nothing. You just kind of like put the dosage in. Four mLs for 27 gallons. So this is like what, less than 20? So I'm just, just using two mLs every other day. See how the corals are reacting and then maybe go to every day. You could dose this stuff too. And then this one, I have no idea why I bought it because this one says Aminos, Aminos 2. They have so many of these. And this is pretty much one drop after lights out. So, probably should have looked more into this, but I'll let you guys know. Uh, this one for sure. We'll see if any other coloration, stuff like that changes. And if you put this in the tank while the lights are like really blue, it's like that, uh, it's like a neon yellow. So it looks cool when you're dosing. I will try to keep, I want to, I'm not, like that's gonna be my goal, to keep that new tank, even though that's so much water. It should be easier to maintain because like, this one parameters fluctuate even if the slightest thing. So I'm trying to keep that one, or I'm gonna try to keep that one like low maintenance as well. Cause I never dosed, I never used a dose machine. So I don't know why that like freaks me out. Uh, there's dose calculators on uh, BRS on their website. So I just never got to that point where I needed a dose. And I want to do like mostly SPS in that, given my budget. So let's see, maybe some like ZOAs and then L uh, SPS. Um, but yeah, super simple. It's really, it's, I don't know. You guys tell me if this, like so far has this seemed like a uh, simple reef tank? Let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah guys, that's it for the video. I will catch you guys on the next round. I'm glad I looked over, didn't even focus. Aqua Forest Power Elixir. Elixir, the other one was Aqua Forest Amino Mix. You know how people do that? Does that even really work? Bam, yeah.